seconds. What's going on everybody? It's JB here with another exciting episode of the FIFA 18 career mode. Today we're away at Wolverhampton Wanderers who have just been newly promoted to the Premier League. Uh, big game this really in terms of our start of the season. We had a narrow win against Bournemouth last time out and that's the league table as you can see at the moment. Wolves are in the bottom three. We're just in sixth place. Can we go further up with a win? Let's get to Molly and find out. Well, here we are in the West Midlands, the Black Country, and Boyan will make his debut then for Burnley. 27 years old, 14.1 million he got, us in, got from, from Stoke. A great uh, performer, and I think he'll do well here. But Molyneux is Ramjan Park. They're back in the Premier League for the first time since 2012. And here's their lineup: a key median goal. Then they're going to play back five of a former Jose, Ibanks, Landau, Bennett, and Zink and Yang, Salvez and Neves, the two holding midfielders, and then it's Marshall, Glandon and Carriero up front. Uh, so, very cosmopolitan Wolverhampton side these days, and uh, they do look a good outfit, although they did lose in their first match last week, but they won't be perturbed by that, the Wolves fans. The Clarets, another ch couple of changes for them, Heaton in goal, and then it's the same back four as last week, with Stephen Wall, the former Wolves man, coming back to his old club. Gray, Boyan, Defoe and Shirley in midfield. Boyan replaces Jack Cork. And Ings and Welbeck, the same duo up front. So, a great atmosphere then for this game. Burnley crossing the white. Wolves in the old gold. And it uh, should be an absolute cracking game. The referee in charge of proceedings is Roger East. And it's going to be Wolves, as I say, in the old gold shirts. It's a proper traditional football club. One of the founder members, incidentally, of the Football League back in 1888. And two founder members, really. Burnley were amongst the, found and the other founder members. And uh, they're in white today. And they attack the goal to our left. This is Marshall. To Gladden. Back to Ben Marshall. Deflection on the shot. Easy for Tom Eaton in the end. Here's the four. Up towards Ings. Good strike. Oh, just wide. Danny Ings with a super shot. 18 minutes or so gone here, just over 18 minutes gone, and that's a very good strike here, and Akimi wasn't getting anywhere near it, it just missed by an inch or two there, just past that far post, and it wasn't a lot to spare, Akimi of course, both goalkeepers incidentally are captains today, Carl Akimi at one end, Tom Eaton at the other. Neves, Gladden, Sayas. Oh, he ran straight into Scherler. It wasn't good. Here's Andre Scherler taking it up. Good running by the German. Ings will try the shot and wide this time of Akimi's goal. Well, you're looking splendid, of course, although it's a very blustery and rainy day. Here's Ings. Oh, he's opened up for him. Oh, he's in it straight at Carl Akimi. Well, he should have gone closer in there, Danny Ings. He had the opportunity to do that, and in the end. It just didn't do so. It's been a very lacklustre 39 minutes, I have to say, here. But the conditions haven't helped much. But here's Caballero. Oh, he's giving it away again. Wolves need to learn some lessons here. Here's Ings. And Welbeck could pick them off here. Danny Welbeck. Oh, he's in the post. Ings follows up to score. And Burnley have deserved that. They've been the better team in what's really been a dire first 42 minutes. But Burnley have shown the, the desire there. Although Carl Akimi will feel himself a little bit unfortunate as the ball came off the post and it ricocheted off the back of his back and into the path of Daddy Ings and it was so inviting for him. It's a good finish but you've got to give a little bit of sympathy to Carl Akimi. It just ricocheted off his back and Ings couldn't miss from there but it's a lead that Burnley have merited on the balance of play. And like Bournemouth last week, it's not been a pretty performance from either side. But Burnley are in the lead. The champions starting their defence off pretty well at the moment. And on course at the big stand for two wins in a row. It's Gray. To me. Up to Scherler. Two added minutes, as you can see there in the corner of your screen. Here's Danny Welbeck. He's got Ings waiting in the middle, but the Welbeck is offside. Which is a real shame, really. And he's run way too late. So a free kick to Wolves. Owls 
to take it. I think that's how you pronounce it. The ball back again. Sayis gets it forward and there goes the half-time whistle blown by referee Mr Roger East. So not a good performance really from Wolves at home. They'll be disappointed but Burnley have looked the better side and lead through Danny Ings' goal. Half-time Wolves nil, Burnley won. Looking back to Molineux as the game kicks off. No changes from either side as I can see. As his second half is underway. And here's Jamal Gray for the white shirt of Burnley side. They were checking the goal to our right. And towards Danny Ings that time. Trippier will pick up the loose ball. In towards Gray. Now Ings on the turn. Good save by Akimi. Got everything behind it there. Good save. But not a good kick. Straight into the path of Jamal Gray. His header though was a little bit uh, wayward. Uh, I have to say a little bit haywire. Neves to Gladden. Still Gladden. That's how you pronounce it. Here's Shawcross to Gray. Now Trippier. Oh, lovely skills. Sweet skills by Kieran Trippier. And he could go all the way. Trippier, the right back all the way. 2 0. Brilliant run. He cut right through the Wolves' defence and then. Got one on one practically with Carl Akimi, and he's just said, Take that! Trippier gets his first goal of the season, and Burnley now in complete control. Just watch the Wolves' defence split round the middle. And thank you very much, says Danny Welbeck. Good night, nurse. I will have my first goal of the season. And that was not a left, that, that was not a wing back's finish. That was a finish that a seasoned striker would have been proud of. 2 0. 55 minutes gone, Burnley in complete control of this game. And looking odds on now for three crucial points here against the Wolves side that have really struggled to come to terms with the high level, although they do look a talented side on paper. But then again, do football sides win on paper? Of course they don't. That's the old adage of football. Here's Gray. Ings makes the burst, he's onside, Danny Ings has got well back in the middle, but Ings goes alone and he's missed. Oh, that should have been 3-0. And Ings just put the shot narrowly wide as uh, Mason replaces Gladen for the remaining half an hour or so that remains. Ibe, good tackle, Boyan, Ibe again the sub. Oh, that's a good ball from Jordan Ibe. Danny Ings now, surely this must be three, it is, brilliant finish. And the points are now safe and sound for Burnley. They'll go back from Molyneux with all three points back to Lancashire tonight. There's no doubt about that. Lovely ball forward from Jordan Ibe. And Ingstern just drives in under Carla Kimi. And that seals Burnley's surely, victory, surely a great victory for Burnley. Two wins out of two for them. And it's a great start to life. As defending champions. 3-0 to the Clarets. Danny Ings with the goal. And Danny Ings incidentally that was his first of the season. Four minutes to go. Here's Trippier looking for his second goal. He might do it there. He's ridden the challenge as well. Ings. Oh beautiful goal. And last season's Premier League Golden Boot winner. He's off the mark here with two goals. In this second half. That's the fourth one. Burnley now routing Wolverhampton Wanderers here. Lovely ball and Ings smashes it past the poor goalkeeper Carl Akimi. who couldn't get anywhere near. Tom Davis is about to come on for the last knockies as well. It's going to be a long season for Wolves, you feel. But with their talented side, they should be able to avoid relegation. That's for Burnley. They're off to a flyer here after a dreadful first half, really. They've come to life in this second half and have just taken Wolves to the cleaners. It just really has been a... A great second half performance as Stephen Defoe's day is done. And on comes Tom Davis for the remainder of the game. Which has got about two minutes plus stoppage time still to run. 4 0 now to the Clarets. And the points on their way back to Turf Moor. And it was always going to be a tough test on their first time match back in the Premier League Wars. But uh, they didn't realise how tough it was going to be against the Burnley side who. Won the league on the last day of last season. Here's a chance for Hauser. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. And that was the best chance Wolves have fashioned in the game. And they just didn't take the chance on offer. And now they could be punished because Ibis put uh, 
Danny Welbeck in the clear. Now this could be really and thrill and truly punished, but uh, Carla Kiwi, to his absolute credit, makes a tremendous save. And the ball goes steady to play. But Hauser hits the shot here. Watch this. Six yards out, smashes it with all his might and bang off the crossbar. And the crossbar, I've got to tell you, is still shaking at that end. That left-hand end of the ground. But it would have been no more than consolation, but it would have it would have absolutely given a bit of more respectability to the scoreline, I suppose. As the whistle goes, but it was always going to be a comfortable victory for Burnley. Danny Inks actually got a hat trick in that game, so three for him and three crucial points for Burnley. Four goals in total for them, and looking very very good here. As for Wolves, it could well be a long season ahead, but for Burnley, two wins out of two. Their title defence is definitely up and running here at Molyneux. Final full-time score here in the Black Country. Wolves nil, Burnley four. Yes, and uh, we did have a transfer offer for Danny Ings, incidentally. Um, £12.2 million was the, was the asking price, or the asking bid, I should say. Um, but we rejected it, and, you know, Danny Ings is one of our better strike players at the club, our best player, and... We're not going to let him go for any price whatsoever. So um, we weren't going to we weren't going to do that, were we? We're not we're not daft at Burley Football Club. We're not daft at all. But two wins out of two, and a great second half performance as well to boot. Uh, a marvelous, marvelous uh, way to start the season. Uh, now we turn our attentions to the Carabao Cup for episode number 61, and we've drawn Premier Power Premier League side Swansea City in that one. So, um, and that should be an interesting game there. We are top with six points on goal difference because we've banged in five and conceded none. Huddersfield then comes second, then Man City and Spurs. Wolves stay in the bottom three along with Bournemouth and Wolves, uh, along with Bournemouth. And I think, I'm forgetting who, who else it was that uh, was down there at the start. But uh, um, Liverpool and Arsenal right in the bottom Etchers at the table. That's a little bit of a worrying start. One point between the two clubs at the start at, at that point of the season. It's uh, doesn't bear thinking about there, doesn't it? Uh, but uh, but uh, to get six points out of six really is a good start for us. A good start to our title defence. Remember, we've got more games to play than ever before. Remember, we've got the European Cup coming up. But we, for some reason, could, despite the fact that we are in Europe, we are in round two of the Carabao Cup. And we do take on uh, Swansea City at Turf Moor. So that's episode number 61 for you, folks. Hope you can join us for that. But for me, take care. And we'll see you soon. But uh, a brilliant four-star display. And balls were put to the sword. And until next time, till Swansea in the Carabao Cup, take care. For me, JB, have a good time, have a good time, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.